Lata Mangeshkar. Lata Mangeshkar pronunciation is an Indian singer and occasional music composer. She is one of the best known and most respected playback singers in India. Mangeshkar's career started in 1942 and has spanned over seven decades. She has recorded songs for over a thousand Hindi films and has sung songs in over 36 regional Indian languages and foreign languages, though primarily in Marathi and Hindi. She is the elder sister of singers Asha Bosle, Raidanath Mangeshkar, Asha Mangeshkar and Mayana Mangeshkar. She is the second vocalist to have ever been awarded the Parat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor. Mangishkar was featured in the Guinness Book of World Records from 1974 to 1991 for having made the most recordings in the world. The claim was that she had recorded approximately 25,000 solo, duet, and chorus-backed songs in 20 Indian languages between 1948 and 1974. The category was removed in 1991 and reintroduced in 2011. In 2011 Guinness officially acknowledged Mangishkar's sister Asha Bosal as the most recorded artist in music history. Early Life Lata Mangishkar was born in a Marathi-speaking Gomantuk Maratha family, in the princely state of Sumgli, part of the Maharashtra. Her father, Pandit Dine Nath Mangishkar was a classical singer and theatre actor. Her mother Shevanti, Shaj Hamati, who was from Thuma, Maharashtra, was Dine Nath's second wife. The family's last name used to be Hardikar. Dine Nath changed it to Mangishkar in order to identify his family with his native town, Monshi in Goa. Lata was named Hema at her birth. Her parents later renamed her Lata after a female character, Latika, in one of her father's plays, Babandan. Lata is the eldest child of her parents. Miena, Asha, Usher and Raidanath were her siblings in sequence. Mangishkar took her first lessons from her father. At the age of five, she started to work as an actress in her father's musical plays, Sanjit Natak in Marathi. On the first day in the school, she started teaching songs to other children. When the teachers stopped her, she was so angry that she stopped going to the school. Other sources cite that she left school because they would not allow her to bring Asha with her as she would often bring her younger sister with her. Singing career Early career in the 1940s In 1942, when Mangishkar was 13, her father died of heart disease. Master Vinayak, Vinayak Damoda Karnataki, the owner of Navyag Chai Trap at Movie Company and a close friend of the Mangishkar family, took care of them. He helped Lata get started in a career as a singer and actress. Mangishkar sang the song Nichu Your Gade, Kalu Sarimani House Bari, which was composed by Sadashiv Ram Navreka for Vasant Jogalka's Marathi movie Kitty Hazel, 1942, but the song was dropped from the final cut. Vinayak gave her a small role in Navyag Chai Trapat's Marathi movie Paili Mangla Gawa, 1942, in which she sang Natali Chayatramaki Navalai which was composed by Dada Chandka. Her first Hindi song was Mata X Aput Ki Dunia Badal Ditta for the Marathi film, Gajwab Ha, 1943. Mangishkar moved to Mumbai in 1945 when Master Vinayak's company moved its headquarters there. She started taking lessons in Hindustani classical music from Ustad Amanat Ali Khan. She sang Poor Lagoon Ka Jori for Vasant Jogalka's Hindi language movie Aap Ki Save Our Mine, 1946, which was composed by Datla Devaka. The dance in the film was performed by Roni Pallet who later became a famous classical dancer. Mangishkar and her sister Asha played minor roles in Vinayak's first Hindi language movie, Bardi Moore, 1945. In that movie, Lata also sang a Bajan, Merata to Chan and Mine. She was introduced to music director Vasant Desai during the recording of Vinayak's second Hindi language movie, Subhadra, 1946. Following the partition of India in 1947, Ustad Amanat Ali Khan migrated to newly formed Pakistan, so Mangishkar started to learn classical music under Amanat Khan divorce whale. Pandit Tulsdas Sharma, a pupil of Ustad Baidulam Ali Khan, also trained her. After Vinayak's death in 1948, 
music director Ulam Haider mentored her as a singer. Haider introduced Mangishka to producer Sashad Hall Mukherjee, who was working then on the movie Shahid, 1948, but Mukherjee dismissed Mangishka's voice as too thin. An annoyed Haider responded that in the coming years the producers and the directors would fall at Lata's feet, and beg her to sing in their movies. Haider gave Lata her first major break with the song Deal Mira Toda, from the movie Mabuk, 1948. Initially, Mangishkar is said to have imitated the acclaimed singer Noor Jain, but later she developed her own style of singing. Lyrics of songs in Hindi movies are primarily composed by Urdu poets and contain a higher proportion of Urdu words, including the dialogue. Actor Dilip Kumar once made a mildly disapproving remark about Mangishkar's Maharashtrian accent while singing Hindi Urdu songs. So for a period of time, Lata took lessons in Urdu from an Urdu teacher named Shafi. One of her first major hits was Ayuga Anwala, a song in the movie Mahal, 1949, which was composed by music director Kemchan Prakash and lip-synced on screen by actress Madhubala. 1950s In the 1950s, Mangishkar sang songs composed by various music directors of the period, including Anil Biswas. In films such as Tarana and Here, Shankar Jayakishan, Norse Hodali, S. D. Berman, Pandit Husan Lal Bhagat Ram, in films like Bari Bin, Miena Bazaar, Afsana, Audi Rat, and Su, C. H. H. O. T. I. Barbie, Adali Jayanga, C. Ram Khandra, Hemant Kumar, Salil Chowdhury, K. Yam, Ravi, Sajad Hussain, Roshan, Kalyanji Ananji, Vasant Desai, Sadhar Fadg. Hans Rich Bell, Madden Mohan, and Usher Khanna. She made her debut in Tamil playback singing with Vaughan Adam in 1956, Aran Kotale dubbed in Tamil, with Tamil song and Thankanalan picturized on Nimi in the dubbed version composed by Norse Hod. Mangishkar sang many raga based songs for Norse Hod in movies such as Bijubora, 1952, Magali Azam, 1960, and Koinga, 1960. Chalki Jarat Badi Bufar, a duet with G. M. Dharani, was her first song for composer, Norse Hod. The duo, Shankar Jayakishan, chose Mangish Kafrag, or, 1953, Shri 420, 1955, and Kori Kori, 1956. Before 1957, composer S. D. Berman chose Mangish Kar as the leading female singer for his musical scores in Sazawa, 1951. House No. 44, 1955, and Devdas, 1955. However a rift developed between Lata and Berman in 1957, and Lata did not sing Berman's compositions again until 1962. Mangishkar won a Filmfare Award for Best Female Playback Singer for Salil Chowdhury's composition Larger Repartisi, from Madhu Mati, 1958. In the early 50s, Lata Mangishkar's association with C. Ram Khandra produced songs in movies such as Anikali, Albella, Asha, Pelizhalak, Shinchan Kai Bubala Boo, Azad and Amadeep. For Madan Mohan, she performed for films like Adalat, Railway Platform, Dek Kabara Roya and Katcha Zindabad. 1960s Mangishkar's song Pure Kiyat Tadana Kaya from Mughal Azam, 1960 composed by Norse Hod and picturized on Madhubala, still remains famous. The Hawaiian-themed number Ajib Dasan Haye from Dialapna Aprit Parai, 1960, was composed by Shankar Jayakishan and picturized on Miena Kumari. In 1961, Mangishkar recorded two popular bhajans, Alatiro Nam, and Prabhu Tiro Nam, for Burman's assistant, Joy Death. In 1962, she was awarded her second Filmfare Award for the song Khan Deep Jail Khan Deal from B. Zal Bard, composed by Hemant Kumar. On January 27, 1963, against the backdrop of the Sino-Indian War, Mangishkar sang the patriotic song I Mir Watan K. Logo, literally, Oh, people of my country in the presence of Jawaharlal Nehru, the then Prime Minister of India. The song, composed by C. Ram Khandra and written by Kavi Pradeep, is said to have brought the Prime Minister to tears. In 1963, Mangishkar returned to collaboration with S. D. Berman. 
She also sang for R.D. Berman's very first film Chhote Nord and later for his films such as Boot Bangla, 1965, Pati Patni, 1966, Baharan K. Sapn, 1967, and Apilasha, 1969. She also recorded several popular songs for S.D. Berman, including Aj Jean Ki Tamana Hai, Gata Ramira Deal, Duet with Kishore Kumar, and Pia Tos from Guide. 1965, and Othan Pay A.C. Bart from Jewel Thief, 1967. During the 1960s, Lata Mangishkar continued her association with Madan Mohan which included the songs Up Ki Nazar and Ni Samjha from Ampad, 1962, Lad Jar Gale, and Bas Rimjim from Wo Korn Thai, 1964, Wo Shup Ryan to from Janara, 1964, to Jin Jin Shalaga from Mira Sa. 1966, and Terry A. and Koke Shiva from Kirag, 1969. The 1960s also witnessed the beginning of Mangishkar's association with Lakshmi and Pyalal, the music directors for whom she sang the most popular songs in her career. Starting in 1963, Lakshmi and Pyalal association with Lata Mangishkar grew stronger over the years. Lata Mangeshkar sang over 700 songs for the composer duo over a period of 35 long years, most of which became huge hits. She sang for Parasmani, 1963, Mr. X in Bombay, 1964, Ad in Baha K, 1966, Milan, 1967, Anita, 1967, Shagird, 1968, Mir Hamdam Mir Dust, 1968. In Taquam, 1969, Du Rast, 1969, and Jean Key Raw for which she got her third Filmfare Award. She also sang several playback songs for Marathi films, composed by Marathi music directors including Raida Nath Mangishkar, Vasant Prabhu, Srinivas Kale, Sutta Fadk and herself, under the name Anand Han. During the 1960s and 1970s, she also sang several Bengali songs, composed by music directors like Salil Chowdhury and Hemant Kumar. She also made her Canada debut in 1967 for the film Krantavira Sangali Rayana by recording two songs for the music director Lakshman Verlka. The song Belain Belagayath was received well and appreciated. In this period Lata Mangeshkar has recorded duets with Mukas, Manade, Mahendra Kapo, Muhammad Rafi, and Kishore Kumar. For a brief period during the 1960s, she was not on good terms with Muhammad Rafi over the issue of royalty payments to singers. Mangishkar wanted Rafi to back her in demanding a half share from the 5% song royalty that the film's producer conceded to select composers. But Rafi took a diametrically opposite view, and believed that a playback singer's claim on the filmmaker ended with the payment of the agreed fee for the song. This led to tensions between the two. After an argument during the recording of the song to Svir Terry Deal Mine, Maya, 1961, the two refused to sing with each other. The music director Jaya Kishan later negotiated a reconciliation between the two. 1970s In 1972, Miena Kumari's last film, Pakariza, was released. It featured popular songs including Chalt Chalt, and Ini Log On Ni sung by Lata Mangishkar, and composed by Ula Muhammad. She recorded many popular songs for S.D. Berman's last films, including Rangi Alari from Prem Pujari, 1970, Killed Hain Gul Yarin from Shamili, 1971, and Pia Baina from Abhiman, 1973. She recorded many popular songs for Madan Mohan's last films, including Dastak, 1970, Here Ray Anja, 1970, Dil Ki Ran, 1973, Hindu Stam Ki Kasam, 1973, Hans Z A K H M, 1973, Morsam, 1975, and Leila Maju, 1976. Lata Mangeshkar's most notable songs in 1970s were composed by Lakshmi Kant Pyalal, Lakshmi Pierre, and Rahul Dev Berman. She recorded several songs composed by Lakshmi Pierre in 1960s and 1970s, many of them written by the lyricist Anan Bakshai. She also recorded many hit songs with Rahul Dev Berman in the films Amar Prem, 1972, Caravan, 
1971, Katipaytang, 1971, and Aindi, 1975. The two are noted for their songs with the lyricists Maru Saltanpurai, Anan Bakshai and Gulzar. In 1973, she won the National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer for the song Beatin Nar Beatai from the film Parake, composed by Adi Berman, and written by Gulzar. In 1974, she sang her only Malayalam song Kadali Chen Kadali for the film Nelu, composed by Salil Chowdhury, and written by Viala Ramavalma. In 1975, she again won the National Award, this time for the song Ruoth Ruoth Pia from the film Kora Kagas, composed by Kalianji Ananji. From 1970s onwards, Lata Mangeshkar has also staged many concerts in India and abroad, including several charity concerts. Her first concert overseas was at the Royal Albert Hall, London, in 1974. She also released an album of Mara Bay's Bajans, Charla Vahides, composed by her brother Ridenath Mangishkar. Some of the Bajans in the album include Sanwe Rangalaki and Adjur Rikanaga. In the early 1970s, she released other non-film albums, such as her collection of Galeb Gazels, an album of Marathi folk songs, Koli Geet, an album of Ganesh artists, all composed by her brother Ridenath, and an album of Abangs of Sant Ukaram composed by Srinivas Kale. In 1978, Raj Kapo directs Satyam Shivam Sundaram Lata Mangeshkar lends her voice to the main theme song Satyam Shivam Sundaram, which was among the chart toppers of the year. The story of was inspired by Lata Mangeshkar reveals Raj Kapo's daughter Ritu Nanda in her latest book. I visualized the story of a man falling for a woman with an ordinary countenance but a golden voice and wanted to cast Lata Mangeshkar in the role. The book quotes Raj Kapo as saying, in late 1970s and early 1980s, she worked with the children of composers she had earlier worked with. Some of these composers included Rahul Dev Berman, son of Sarkhan Dev Berman, Rajesh Roshan, son of Roshan, Anu Malik, son of Sada Malik, and Anan Malind, sons of Chitragupt. She also sang many songs in a Samis language and had a very good relationship with Dada Seb Fark award winner singing legend Lake Bupen Hazarika. She sang many songs under his guidance and in Ridali the song Deal Whom Whom Care made a highest record of sales that year. 1980s onwards From 1980s onwards, Lata Mangeshkar worked with music directors including Shiv Hari and Silsila, 1981, Fazal, 1985, Vijay, 1988, and Shandni, 1989. Ram Laxman in U Stadi U Stodse, 1981, Bezibaran, 1982, Wojo Hasina, 1983, Yiki Safets, 1985, and Main Pure Kirya, 1989, which was a musical hit. In 1988, Mangeshkar made a comeback to Tamil films with two back-to-back -back renditions RRORRO and Balayasai for composer Ilaraja's compositions for the films Ayanand and Sathya respectively. In June 1985, the United Way of Greater Toronto invited the Lata Mangeshkar to perform at Maple Leaf Gardens. She filled 12,000 seats, raising $150,000 for the charity. During the 1990s, she recorded with music directors including Anand Malind, Nadim Shravan, Jatin Lalit, Dilip Sensamir Sen, Atam Singh, Anu Malik, Audesh Shrivastava and A. R. Rahman. She recorded some non-film songs, including Gazels with Jag Jit Singh. She has also sung with S. P. Ballet Subramaniam, Udit Narayan, Harayaran, Kuma Senu, Suresh Wadka, Muhammad Aziz, Abhijit Bhattacharya, Rupkuma Rathod. Vinod Rathod, Godas Man and Sunni Nagam. In 1990, Mangishkar launched her own production house for Hindi movies which produced the Girls Are Directed movie Likin. She won her third National Film Award for Best Female Playback Singer for her rendition of the song Yera Silai Silai from the film, which was composed by her brother Ridenath. Mangishkar has sung for almost all the Yash Chopra films and films from his production house Yash Raj films at that time including Shandni, 1989, Lamy, 1991, Da, 1993, Ye Dilorji, 1994, 
Dilwell Dolhania Lejenge, 1995, Deal to Pagel High, 1997, and later on Mahabatine, 2000, Mujhse Dosti Karoj, 2002, and Veer Zora, 2004. During 1990, Mangishkar Records with Ram Laxman and Patch Thar Fool, 1991, 100 Days, 1991, Mabuk Mir Mabuk, 1992, Sartre Nisman, 1992, I Love You, 1992 Film, 1992, Dil Ki Borzi, 1993, Antim Nye, 1993, The Melody of Love, 1993, The Law, 1994, Hummel Ab Kane Kaun, 1994, Mega, 1996, Lav Kush, 1997, Manchala, 1999, and Dulan Banu Main Terry, 1999. A.R. Rahman recorded a few songs with Mangishka during this period, including Jaya Jail, Deal Say, Kamoshi and Gungu Nan Lajan, One Two Car Four, Ekta High Perosa, Puka, Pyara Zar Gain, Zubida, So Gay Hain, Zubida, Lucka Chuppi, Randa Bazanti, and Opea Lanhai, Lagan. She made an appearance in the film Puka singing this song. In 1994, Lata Mangishka released Shrad and Jolly My Tribute to the Immortals. The special feature of the album is that Lata offer her tributes to immortal singers of the time by rendering a few of their songs in her own voice. There are songs of K.L. Segal, Rafi, Hemant Kumar, Mucus, Pankaj Malik and Kisha Kumar, Gita Dutt, Zoe Bay, Amur Bay, Paralosh and Kanan Devi. Mangishkar sang both, Rahul Dev Berman's first and last song. In 1994, she sang last song Kuch Na Kaho for Rahul Dev Berman in 1942, A Love Story. In 1999, Lati Oda Parfum, a perfume brand named after her, was launched. In 1999, Mangishka was nominated as a member of Raya Sabha. However, she did not attend the Raya Sabha sessions regularly, inviting criticism from several members of the House, including the Deputy Chairperson Najma Heptala, Pranab Mukherjee and Shubana Azmi. She stated the reason for her absence is ill health. It was also reported that she had not taken a salary, allowance or a house in Delhi for being a member of Parliament. In 2001, Lata Mangeshkar was awarded Parat Ratna, India's highest civilian honor. In the same year, she established the Master Dine Nath Mangeshkar Hospital in Pune, managed by the Lata Mangeshkar Medical Foundation, founded by the Mangeshkar family in October 1989. In 2005, she designed a jewelry collection called Swear and Jewelry, which was crafted by Adora, an Indian diamond export company. Five pieces from the collection raised PS 105,000 at a Christie's auction, and a part of the money was donated for the 2005 Kashmir earthquake relief. Also in 2001, she recorded her first Hindi song with the composer Elia Roja, for the film Laja. She had earlier recorded Tamil and Telugu songs composed by Elia Roja. Lata Mangeshkar's song Wada Na Todd is in the film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. 2004, and on the film's soundtrack. On June 21, 2007, she released an album Sadgi, featuring eight gazan-like songs written by Jave Dorkita and composed by Mayur Reshpai. On April 12, 2011, she released another album Zahedin, Music Beyond Bounder as the album has a rare duet era Milna Barakalaj by Lata Mangeshkar and Midi Hussain, written by Pakistan's Farhat Shah Tzad. The album features Usha Mangishkar, Suresh Wadka, Harai Aran, Sunni Nagam, Rekha Bhardwaj and another Pakistani singer, Ulam Ali. After 14 years, Lata Mangishkar recorded a song for composer Nadim Shravan Kespiya Simon Kaho for Buafa, 2005. After Ketna Jibrisht Hanya and Path for Page 3, 2005, and Dare to Sunla for Jail, 2009, Shamir Tandon once again recorded a song with Lata Mangeshkar to Hassan Sai Mujeko for the film Satranji Parachute, 2011. On November 28, 2012, Lata Mangeshkar launched her own music label LM Music with an album of Bajans. 
she sang along with younger sister Usher on the album. Non-singing career Music direction Lata Mangeshkar composed music for the first time in 1955 for Marathi movie Ram Ram Pavan. Later in 1960s, she composed music for following Marathi movies under the pseudonym of Anand Gan. 1960, Ram Ram Pavana, 1963, Maratha Tatuka Malvava, 1963, Mutyanchai Manjula, 1965, Sadi Manis, 1969, Tambedi Mati. She won Maharashtra State Government's Best Music Director Award for the film Sadi Manis. The song Ira Naik Hyadevatila from the same film received Best Song Award. Production Lata Mangeshkar has produced four films. 1953, Vaudal, Marathi, 1953, Jainja, Hindi, co-produced with C. Rangkhandra, 1955, Kanchan, Hindi. 1990, Likin. Hindi. Awards and recognitions Lata Mangeshkar has won several awards and honors, including Parat Ratna, India's highest civilian award, Padma Bhushan, 1969, Padma Bhushan, 1999, Dada Seb Fark Award, 1989, Maharashtra Bhushan Award, 1997, NTR National Award, 1999, Parat Ratna, 2001, ANA National Award, 2009, three National Film Awards, and 12 Bengal Film Journalists Association Awards. She has also won four Filmfare Best Female Playback Awards. In 1969, she made the unusual gesture of giving up the Filmfare Best Female Playback Award, in order to promote fresh talent. She was later awarded Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993. In 1984, the state government of Madhul Pradesh instituted the Lata Mangeshkar Award in honor of Lata Mangeshkar. The state government of Maharashtra also instituted a Lata Mangeshkar Award in 1992. In 1974, the Guinness Book of Records listed Lata Mangeshkar as the most recorded artist in the history, stating that she had reportedly recorded not less than 25,000 solo, duet and chorus-backed songs in 20 Indian languages between 1948 and 1974. Her record was contested by Muhammad Rafi, who was claimed to have sung around 28,000 songs. After Rafi's death, in its 1984 edition, the Guinness Book of World Records stated Lata Mangeshkar's name for the most recordings, but also stated Rafi's claim. The later editions of Guinness Book stated that Lata Mangeshkar had sung no fewer than 30,000 songs between 1948 and 1987. Although the entry has not been printed in Guinness editions since 1991, several sources claim that she has recorded thousands of songs, with estimates ranging up to figures as large as 50,000. However, even the earliest Guinness claim of 25,000 songs, between 1948 and 1974, was claimed to be exaggerated by several other sources, with one of them stating that the number of songs sung by Lata Mangeshkar in Hindi films till 1991 was found to be 5250. Mangeshkar herself stated that she does not keep a record of the number of songs recorded by her, and that she did not know from where Guinness Book editors got their information. In 2011 Asha Bosal was officially acknowledged by Guinness as the most recorded artist in music history, surpassing Mangishka.